somehow we have a scrim, mm. right? We get on for the scrim. Me and Brandon are like, dude, I'm getting shit on, dude. I'm so fucking hungry. And Seth comes in the and Seth's like, dude, I'm so chalked. We're like, <laughs> chalked. <laughs> We're like chalked. Me and Brandon literally look at each other like, wait, what the fuck? Like this guy's been hoarding food. He's like, nah, it's made me this fucking crazy shit. Risa, we're like, what shit. the fuck? We're literally looking at our goldfish. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, this is insane. Feeling better than I ever been. Cairo in his bag, this beat is heaven sin. Back up in my element, new whip, trunk up in the front, I whip an elephant. It's all limo tent, that's how you move when you the president. You ask the off stream, treat him like my last name. Disrespecting, you just signed a check for a long day. Appetizer rappers, you will never be an entree. Really, you a condiment. All right, so uh, first question, who the hell is going to move all this shit? <laughs> that's what I want to know. It's a very good question. We've, I mean, we, it has to be tradition that the guy that moved everything in has to be the one that moved everything out. Matt, perfect, damn, <laughs> perfect, perfect. Because uh, I'm looking at your collectible wall, bro. Yeah, you want to get rid of anything? <laughs> you need stuff for yours? I mean, I'll take free shit any day. What do, what do you want? Nothing. That, that's, all, like that. that's All of that is going somewhere, I just don't know where. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that I can't find a home for, so that is what I think we're going to uh, be I'll take everything. trying what's, to... What's your favorite thing up there? Probably our statues from the dynasty. Yeah, those are fire. Some people would say, like, what about those Jordan 4 Kos, the the gray ones that were painted a different color? People got mad at me because I destroyed one of the best shoes ever made. Uh, but I think they look cool. Matches my companion up there. I'm I'm lost. Like y'all are calling shit out, and I'm, I'm Dude, still looking like for the so, dynasty. There, there's people. <laughs> the, the dynasty it's those shoes. Yeah. The dynasty bobbleheads are to the well, right. Those aren't the dynasty bobbleheads. Or sorry, the, wait, who is those that? Those are just the uh, Optic Texas bobbleheads. Oh, those the. Uh, I was looking at the wrong. Oh, oh the, the top, dynasty top, top shelf. Top. Yeah, yeah. The top shelf. Dude, that. those are so fire. Yeah. If you could save anything, Matt, what would you save from up there? There's a fire. You gotta grab something. Probably the lighter or something. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? The lighter that started the, the fire yeah. to begin with. Um, Jude and I have been, have been, she's been trying to get me to sit down with her to figure out what we're gonna do with this. I know it may seem as though like I handle like majority of my stuff. I'm not. You know, she, she. Cause I, mean, I look at everything else and it's gonna be a pain. But we know where everything everybody's going. What are you gonna do with your? You left a, a bunch of stuff back there, and you thought that we we're gonna be out of here. So you, in my mind, when you left and you said you weren't coming back, like I just felt I'm like, what is he gonna do with all that? Like your trophies, your your plaque. You were just gonna leave it. I have my I have my plaque and my trophies, but there's a bunch of other stuff I need to get. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Uh, your alcohol. I got a lot of my alcohol. Uh, I there's see some, a lot there. So. Yeah, yeah. There's some stuff up there. Oh, the docs alcohol is up there. Yeah, dude. There's so much stuff in this place. So uh, obviously we're doing a farewell to the Hex Quarters. Um, how long has it been? Three years? August, no, it's five years. Five years. Yeah, it's like five. So we've been in here. We moved in August or August Two more something. years than we were in the we, scuff we house. We played World War II here. I like completely forgot about that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we played World War II here. You weren't on the team at that point because you fucking sketched. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. You did. The fuck? That one, I'm, I've been holding that one in. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're not. I don't think you're even heart. up on that wall. What are you pointing at? At the at the Polaroids. The Polaroids. Yeah, I am. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you are. Because we did a, an eavesdrop. Yeah. Uh, one of the most viewed ones, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so how does the? Uh, <laughs> the fuck? Obviously, I know the hex quarters ca comes to be. Uh, the the idea of it came out of like I guess spite. Is spite the good word? Necessity. No, necessity. Necessity. Yeah. A little bit of spite. No, no spite whatsoever. I Moved just, it right I, across from the infinite offices, said, we're here. <laughs> it's like you guys both set up your... No, not at all. No. I mean, I, I, I'm actually surprised that you even see it that way. People might take that the wrong way. But no, the reason was because I didn't want my Call of Duty team to be in a fucking tiny little office, right? I'd, in an in a, in a office, like literal work office where cubicles exist and, yeah. and all that stuff. I, I, I couldn't do that, so I... I ponied up my own cash, put seventy-five thousand dollars down into this thing, uh, and did the whole thing. And then little by little, kept on adding stuff. I mean, it's way more than seventy-five. Uh, like once you consider the tables and all that stuff, like seventy-five was just to get it, right? To get this painted, to get uh, the floors polished, the walls, put the walls, walls painted. Yeah, to put the wall up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
and we shared this office next to another company. And uh, so you worked with them to to get this spot where they were only using. Half yeah. Of so you remember that that the the old the the original Infinite offices yeah. were right next to Launchpad City. Launchpad City was my business partner Brian and Heat's thing on that side. And then we always kept in touch just because, you know, we were introduced way before even the Infinite stuff happened. Um, and they're like, yo, one of the offices that we toured originally is going to be open. And I walked in and I was like madly in love with this place instantly. Um, and yeah, so they took over that. I took over this. So when you see that picture, there's a picture we could pull it up and post now, but of you looking at this place and the carpet is down and the walls are white. Did you already have a vision of what this was going to be? Yeah. From that moment? Yeah. It was going to be whatever it was going to become. I didn't want to force it. I didn't want to, I just needed it to be something that evolved. And I didn't want to have any like specific plans of, of anything towards it. Yeah. Just you had like a good idea for the base of this though. Like yeah. taking the carpet out and blacking out the ceiling, I think makes the spot like so unique. That's the hex quarters, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. The hard, like the hard floors and the dark ceilings. It just makes it different in my opinion. Yeah. Personally, it was not my favorite. What? <laughs> Coming in here, I got a league match. I'm st- I'm stepping on this. I'm like, I'm trying to be comfortable. Other teams got like carpets and shit. We had the hard floor. I'm not saying that was like one of my only gripes with this place was the hard floor. Well, to be fair, like this is called <laughs> the hex quarters, right? It was like, it was, it was supposed to be like my own creative space where I would invite all the creatives. That's to fair. Uh, but little by little, it became like an optic headquarters, like a, a, a good one too. So did you always, because in the middle of having the hex quarters, you got another office, <laughs> you got the garage Mahal. So now you have, you were had your hex quarters was going to be your spot. Then we kind of took it over yeah. and you were like, I need my own spot still. Yeah. And so, like, are we going to the Garage Mahal after this place leaves? And then you'll need to get another spot? To be to be honest with you, Jude showed me uh, a Garage Mahal that's, like, three of them. Like, three different Garage Mahals. Seth's seen it. It's got, like, a big-ass fan. Like literally It's up. crazy. It's like... <laughs> and Jude's like, he's like, why don't you turn this into the new should... hex quarters? I'm like, no. Tell how much that shit costs. 1.5. <laughs> that's pocket change. See... To Seth. I wouldn't... I would... <laughs> I would not... Your garage, I think, is the perfect like amount Size. of space. That, unless you have like stuff to fill it, it's like kind of overkill. But it's cool. Where like, was this? Here, same place. Same the spot. space is crazy, but it's like it's so crazy that like unless There's you had like boats. Here. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if you were to make it a hex quarters, there it would work. <sighs> no, nah, there's two like the, it's because there's there's the garage doors and bay doors. Insects go in there. Like I, I in my traps, I have saved uh, several geckos. Like those, I get, I go out of my way. Insects, like insects are insects. Uh, yeah, but there's, there's, insects. Uh, there's scorpions, not no. the big ones, the tiny ones, the no. poisonous ones. There's yeah. no way you get them in there. Yeah. Do we have scorpions here? Yeah. No, we don't. I'll show you pictures. No, we don't. Uh, I caught a little snake, so I had to save that. Uh, insects, I let them do their thing. Uh, I dispatch them like the second they're there. I dispatch them. I don't let them like starve to death. That's not my thing. So we couldn't do it there. I don't think that there's a need for a new hex quarters though right now. I think the the the, the office is big enough. Everybody has their own space. It's 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 wide enough. Um, and what the office is turning into is going to be a lot like this was. Hopefully, I think. I mean, that, this way. That like the podcast room is already. We already shoot a lot of stuff in there, and then the other room as well. We've got all that space. Yeah. That uh. That'll be where you stream out of, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Are you streaming in downtown? No, probably not. Oh, you're gonna yeah, stream. I'll probably just stream from wherever I get a place. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I kind of want to ask Matt because I feel like I feel like this place obviously is like holds a close place in your heart, your heart, like. But you are still here every day. Yeah. Is it like sad that you it's going away, or do you like kind of want to? You the, want the, something it'd new. It'd be cool if it, if it, if it like, kept going. <laughs> it'd be super convenient. Okay, so, you're, so you're sad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like a 10-second walk or, like, moving. I mean, we have a lot of memories here now. Like, it's a pretty safe space. You and like, Brandon. Yeah, we had a lot of laughs here. You know, like, late-night movies and shit. It was really fun. It was you really guys fun. still do that or not really so much Not anymore? so much anymore because someone lost their remote a while ago and I raged about it and no one ever got <laughs> back to me, so... Uh, that's been missing for a long time. Since that text has been gone? Yeah, I haven't but seen it. Could, Can't you use it, your is, phone? Yeah, you can. But is it know. fair to say that 
two, only two people lost. It's, it could only be two people, and one of them is me. Could it have been me? Why am I mad at anybody else for losing something that it might have been me or Brandon? It's Who handles the no, controller? It definitely no one. No one did it. It was whoever came in here and moved a bunch of shit. Mm, that I that that I'm, I'm with. And that. then it just disappeared. Damn, that was that. That's all it took to check you. I mean, we weren't that checked. Dude, how the fuck do you change the channel? You don't even turn the, the TV app? on. Use your phone. Yeah, I guess you could use your phone. And like, how do you turn the TV on with your phone? You just literally go to your phone and just click the fucking back arrow, and it'll the Apple yeah. TV turns on, and it'll turn the TV on by itself. Yeah, the, well, the Apple inputs on. You're huh? wise. You're wise. <laughs> no, I know because I leave my remotes at home all the time. Yo, okay, I got a question for you, and you can answer for you and Brandon. How many movies do you guys think in the history have you bought here? Bought? Yeah. Not that many. Like 10? Bought? Yeah. Like on like your 10? account? Well, it's the only account. Yeah, yeah like 10. 10. <laughs> at, at least when you guys buy it, I know it's not going to be Sing or Barbie. Yeah, it's, like, it's like Jurassic World or some what, shit. Yeah, when you when you uh, log in and then you see any like I know it's his. You know I, know it's like, his, I just yeah. want to clear my name. You know it's me? Yeah. Obviously. What do you mean Barbie? There's nothing like wrong Barbie. with a rom-com. Like he, like, he buys nothing like rom-coms. He's like Miracle on 24th Street. Oh. Um, <laughs> like that sort of thing. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, if sure. you haven't seen it, you need to broaden your horizons. I'm good. I'm Barbie. Good. Oh, we haven't even watched Barbie yet. I know you're tight. We haven't even watched that shit yet. Wait, you just I might buy another one and not watch it. <laughs> How would you know, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Damon, what was, your, what was your first time coming in here? Because I think you <sighs> barely Dude. missed the... Did you miss the World War II wave? Yeah, you just missed it, right? Yeah, I got, got the boot. <laughs> just got dropped, right? Yeah, okay. just got dropped. <laughs> I don't know when the first time I was. Probably in Black Ops 4. Yeah. I don't think I came around for a while, to be honest. It was already, like, fully set up by the time. Yeah, I think... Uh, dude, I don't know. I think the wall was up when I first came here. Okay. I think. What I don't was, remember seeing shit over there. Matt, what was setting up... How did the LAN come to be? The Black Ops... Let's talk about the Black Ops 4 LAN. Because I'm, I think the. And how happy were you? I think oh, you love that shit. I loved it. I loved Did it. Did you? Yeah. yeah, well, it was like, it was fun, but it was one of those things where I, I want to say you maybe just said, let's throw a LAN. Like, and you were like, yeah, can you set that up? And I was like, yeah, for sure. I've never done anything like that ever <laughs> in my life. But I was like, I'll figure that out. I didn't think it could be that hard. And then we just bought all the. We had, I think we bought 24 PS4s, then all the monitors, and just. I kind of just like spent a weekend like figuring out how to do it. So you didn't know how to do I it. I had no idea that's how, at all. That's how Lydia Vision no started, idea. too. Yeah. No idea. Yeah, Lydia had no idea how to do any of it, but and it so went there, well, too. There were four teams playing at once, yep. and it was 5v5. Yeah, yeah. I think so. How did it, were you? How many people did we have here? Dude. There was like 45 people in here at one point, I think, yeah. Because it was all the teams, plus coaches, plus like just like random staff. They're, that they're, they're camera people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was a ton of people here. Yeah. Fucking Ben... Ben J was walking around with no fucking shoes and no socks. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. In here? Yeah, but I will say, Come I want to, I, I yeah, will I say, shout that, out yeah. Ben when he was like, I think he was coaching FaZe or managing FaZe. Shout out him because he's the only one out of all the teams that brought a gift. You didn't have to. Brought a gift. <laughs> you didn't have to bring one. <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tight about no one bringing anything. I don't give a fuck. But I do notice that he did. What are you uh, bring? He, he, what uh, was it? Slicker. Yeah, he's like, here, man, thank you. And I was like, ah, oh, Ben, that's... Wait, what was it? Just liquor. Oh, liquor. Liquor, yeah. Oh, okay. What you think I said? Huh? Hey, Matt, describe the first three months in the Hex Quarters when it was just you and me. What was it like for you? Um, oh, yeah, before. That's before I moved in. There was no... Because yeah. we did it. Because there, there was... There was, like, nothing happens. Because I remember when we, like, when we first got it, we were putting the wall up. And I would... Like, there was nothing in here, and that was the only thing happening. So I remember I would come in here... Like every morning, because we had a GoPro up there, yeah. And I would just come in, check the GoPro, make sure the GoPro's good, and then just leave. Yeah. And I did that every day for like <laughs> however long that install took. Yeah. So that because they were doing the floors, the ceiling, and I think the wall at the same time. So I did that, and then whenever it was just me and you in here, I don't even like. That's so long ago. I don't really like remember. Well, we didn't remember how we ago. didn't do anything for like. I'm like Matt. Oh yeah, I was getting social clear. Like the, my entire job for the first like three months was just like, go find old hex videos. And cut clips, and that was the only thing I like really did. It was that and the GoPro, and then we got the eavesdrop going and stuff. Were you were you still editing the vlogs? When he was vlogging, yeah, yep. 
I used to tell him like, Matt, this is not, this is because he I just hired him. Yeah. And I'm like, Matt, right now it's slow. Yep. It's not gonna be like this forever. And then what happened, Matt? Yeah, it, yeah, it sped <laughs> up. It sped up quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> sped up quickly. So you you come down, you you were working somewhere else. You were and then you yes, started. You, then you started editing Hector's vlogs from remote. At that moment, yeah, at, a little bit. Yeah. At that moment, did you know you were already moving down here, or did that come later? Yeah, yeah. Like the first combo I had with him was about like, I think he asked me like, do you want to like, be in Dallas with us? And I was like, yeah, like 100. I want to move here. So I literally, I like got the job offer and then went home, told my parents I was doing it, dropped out and moved here all in like a month span or something like that. Jeez. So. And so I don't even, it's funny, I don't even remember the World War II year, like at all here. It all like definitely blurs together for me. I remember, the only thing I remember was Complexity's team. Cause it was like fucking Dashy. Doug. Doug. Doug, Racine. Blastful, and I think Ricky. Was it Ricky? And they were here. That's that's the only team. That's the only team that I remember being here. I forget who else was here. But it's just the because the... that was like what what content was coming out. I don't think any content was coming out of here. Oh, it days. was. It was just hex content. Just, you, just like vlogs. I did the stop motion with the with that, and I, I did the uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. the what do you call it? Uh, Dude, it's a beanbag. Yeah, it's one of the beanbags. Yeah, we companies. had some beanbag yeah. stop motion thing. Yeah, and. Uh, I don't know. Like I, I did feel like for those like three to four months that it was like one of the most, like, I was I, I felt as though like this is my chance to prove that I'm a good content creator just on my own, and that's why I started like coming up with like all yeah. the individual shit that we were doing. Um, but little by little, like obviously like shit had to get done, and boom, shit happened. So you start streaming in here for a little bit whenever you move, uh, right? For Black Ops Four. What was it like? What were those? Well, months? I was living with him. Oh yeah, I, li- I lived with I lived with him for like seven, six, seven months. Eight months. Yeah. Through eight months, two days, four hours. Eight, months. <laughs> eight I, months. I was living with him. I basically lived here for the first like. Yeah. However long I was with you, I basically lived like here. Like I I'd be here until like three a.m. Drive back to his house, be greeted by the orchestra. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> Being them. greeted by the orchestra. Tell uh, what it means. Your dogs. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I why have to, are they like, called the orchestra? Because once one goes, it's a Arr, harmony. They all start howling. Like, arr, arr, arr. But yeah, so I'd, I'd be here like literally all day streaming or just hanging out, whatever. And then I'd go back, wake up, do it all again for like six, seven months. It was actually like. Awesome. I mean, yeah, it was fun. But it was also like I had nothing else to do. What do you? I mean, it's this, nothing. Nothing's changed for you, really. Like, because like there, I don't think was there the TV here yet. <laughs> nothing. That's what I'm saying. So no, I literally get nothing. here. My setup was in the back, and that was like all I had to do. And I was over here. It was like, yeah. There was, and then you were over there. Yeah, I was over here. There was like nothing. It was. It was just like bare, barren. Yeah, it was just a giant open room. And yeah, we were waiting for the the house to be built finally. Those rains from that year. The rains from that year like extended your construction. Period. Oh yeah, because they couldn't find contractors, so like floods. The yeah. house was supposed to be done like basically <laughs> when I got here, and yeah. then the rains were like they were like we can't find contractors, they can't finish it, and I was like, oh, well, okay. I will say that one of the, my favorite times during hex quarters was okay. Take this, don't take this the wrong way, but the COVID era yeah. here no, was, was fucking crazy. It was lit, and that same year. Uh, it snowed more than it had ever snowed before. Was that the winter storm year? The winter storm <laughs> year. This guy and Dashy were like locked up here, so we had to go buy them. I'm, I'm the only one that had the <laughs> truck, so we were like going around. There was like, I, bro, I, it was crazy. When I picked you up for the, the first time, remember that I picked you up over there? Well, I remember that shit. We had to like all get transported dude. here. Like, it was like an operation. Was it, like, Nick's cat here too? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. We- <laughs> I remember fucking me and Brandon are surviving off of legit like Oreos, and I was sending you guys pictures of like <laughs> Cheez Its Oreos, right? We get on, we, we somehow we have a scrim, right? We get on for the scrim. Me and Brandon are like, dude, I'm getting shit on, dude. I'm so fucking hungry. And Seth comes in the, and Seth's like, dude, I'm so chalked. We're like, chalked. <laughs> We're like chalked. Me and Brandon leave looking at each other like, wait, what the fuck? Like, this guy's been hoarding food. He's like, nah, it's made me this fucking. 
crazy shit. Risso. And we're Holy like, shit. what the fuck? We're literally looking at our goldfish. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, this is insane. And he's like, yeah, Troy, just get, let's get the fuck off. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> It was horrible, dude. That time period was horrible. Yeah. And it hilarious. wasn't like you could go to Walmart. It wasn't like you could go to, like, everything was, like, on lockdown. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, like, th- those were, like, the adventurous times there was. Like, I remember when we first moved in here also, like, that's when I got the Super 73. We had the, the fat scooter. Oh so me and Matt God. were, like, riding around, like, the town square just taking, like, you know, pictures for social and shit. Uh, quickly realized that was not my thing. I felt like, I'm like, I, I can't take pictures of myself. Like, you know, it's, like, too like, you know what I mean? Like, not, not organic enough for me. It was sick, though. Yeah. The, um, uh, Roger has a, had a hot take that Joey tweeted out, uh, like, two days ago. That said Roger said that he thinks the Hex Quarters might be more influ- influential than the other two houses. What do you think? Not even close. I think, I think 60-50 will forever and always be the, the jump-off point for us. Yeah. In my opinion. Because... Yes, the hex quarters in theory saved optic, right? Uh, because if I didn't have a place to send them to, they would have been fucking unhappy there. And then the alternate universe, they're just like, you know what? I give up. At the time, all this fucking money's flying around, so everybody has like these fucking incredible fucking facilities, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why I'm like, I had, I had, to, I, I had to do something, right? Like, and since I wasn't gonna get funding from the, you know, from that team, then I had to do it myself. And I wanted to have a creative space to begin with. I wanted to have like my own Casey Neistat studio, my own Gary V studio. So I'm like, uh, this is like the perfect thing for it. And here it is. But you, it's like it's like we we go in these like five five year periods, right? Like if you think about when we moved into the house, it was 20, 2013, and we were in 2013 to 2015, to end of 2015 for 6050, right? And then 2015 to 20. 18. 18, and then now we're we're sort of here. Um, Don't mind me. No, we're not minding <laughs> you. I just want to see what's up. Huh? I haven't um, ate yet. The fuck is that? Egg bites. Don't mind me. Smell that. Smell that later. Um, so like this coming to an end, like yeah, it's it's bittersweet, right? Obviously, like I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss the times. I'm gonna miss everything about it. But at the same time, like I'm really happy that we had such good times here. Yeah. I think there was a there was an aspect of leaving the scuff house. I don't know if it was just me, um, or if like you guys could relate to it. But like we got here, and I was like, man, I I consistently missed the scuff house. Like always, like retro, like like thought about, I like what it would be like to be back at the scuff house. But I feel like I embraced everything that we did here to the point where I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna like be like, damn, I, I wish we were all at the hex quarters still. Uh, cause I, I think I, you know, lived up out every moment to its fullest. Obviously I streamed here every single day for, I mean, Matt and I have been streaming here for two years now, like all damn near every day. And that's it. That's it. What, what is it? Uh, what's, what's been the difference like, or what's it been like here for you with between content and streaming and playing two different esports all out of one, all out of one place? a lot to unpack in that question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I didn't want to move here in the first place. I was like kind of dreading it. I remember I was like really dreading leaving Cali. Like I even stayed in Cali for like MW Champs, which was like brain dead, looking back <laughs> on it. It wasn't your best. Still still played pretty good. <laughs> you played pretty good. Still beat Optic, you know? They were all in Texas, Fried Slasher, and like, it was like, uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to come here, but then when I did, like it took like, I don't know, a couple months, but then I started warming up to it. Then I was okay streaming here. Like, because when you're like streaming in a certain spot, like you're, sh- I'm streaming at my house, you know, like back at, back at like Cali, you get really used to it. Mm-hmm. And then streaming somewhere else, it always feels like a little weird at first, you know, like you don't really like feel comfortable. Like you don't, you're not really like all the way yourself. But then like you start warming up to it. And then like as time went on and I was like playing here all the time, like I started like liking it a lot. And then, I mean, it's just like so many hours, dude. So many hours of games went down here. Just like so many benders, dude. <laughs> Literally on one right now. It was just like, I mean, like, I don't know. It's, it was fun, man. It was fun. Your first time coming down here. What what game? What game are you playing? Because they Cold set War. up Cold War. They set up like a four person LAN, and you guys are all playing here, right? We started scrimming. That was the first year we started like scrimming, like from the same spot. I will say though, also like. 
this spot saved a lot of sponsorships from over there because think about Burger King. We shot Burger King here. We shot Mountain oh, Dew here. Shit. We shot Game of Thrones here. We shot the NBA. Like, we shot a lot of shit out of here that they didn't want to shoot over there. <laughs> and not, I didn't see any of that, but I still opened it up because I'm like, yeah. oh, it's better. For, it's, op, it's good for Optic to be, you know, on TV with Burger King or this with that and this. So I'm like, I... I you know, I, those those were the moments. And I remember, like, leaving all the markers. Remember how they, they used to put the tape on the floor? Yeah. And then I would, afterwards, I'd be like, don't don't scratch anything up. I would go, and then I would write down the date, what it was. And, I mean, it's all gone now. You know, people have no respect. But it is what it is. <laughs> Dude, I remember someone, uh, someone was shooting here, and they were, like, it was some sort of, like, company. And they had to put down their own markers, and they took up other markers. And I was like... Like, I didn't catch it till later. I was like, do not tell anyone that you did that shit. Yeah. Because I didn't want you to get... Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of random stuff that we shot out of here. Like, you said the Game of Thrones thing. I forgot we shot Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Do you remember that? No, I yeah, I do, the, yeah. Oh, no, no yeah, it was yeah, back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was back there. Do you remember that Dude, stuff? we should have done that from the beginning. I that remember was the such do, a big do, miss. Do, 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 do. That was the Mountain Dew thing, though. Dude, yeah, that was the Mountain Dew. Do you remember that? Yes. Dude, Is that dude. not what we're talking about? The no. Game of Thrones? No, remember? He, we shot a podcast. A whole podcast yeah. Me, Hitch, and, and, and Big, Big Timer. Timer. And then you were on one episode, and we shot, uh, we shot like oh a- Oh my gosh, like, yeah, at the back left corner. Yeah, yeah, with the candles and shit. Yeah, I do remember that. Dude, we missed out on that. Like, we, we could have had like one of the biggest podcasts ever, Game of Thrones. Game oh of Thrones. Oh my God, it would have been so good. Dude, that shit was fun. Um, what, is, what was your favorite piece of content that you shot out of here? That you've set up and produced, not just shot. It'd probably be one of the lands, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you count that as content, because yeah, those were yeah. just like those were just fun to build. Yeah. But either that or the like the hot ones thing that we did out of here was really cool. Yeah, I we never did another one. Yeah. I got put through the ringer, and then I was like, "Yo, let me do it with Matt," and we just never did another one. Well, I, I asked Matt if he wanted to do it, and he said, "Well, instead of hot stuff, can we just have it be it?" It gets progressively sweeter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Matt, that's not the point. That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. The thing You're is, just like, like, man, this is too sweet. I don't... Yeah, no, it, the, the <laughs> level of spiciness on those things, though, is like, it's not even, like, if you are not into spicy food, like, you cannot be in that piece of content because you're not, you're not going to have a good interaction to it. No, you're not going to have a good interaction unless you're like someone that but, regularly eats those types of peppers. I didn't have fun on it. Yeah, I was but, in pain. But, yeah, but I felt like I got high. But you like spicy food. Like, yeah, yeah like I, but, would, I would be horrible in it. Yeah, he doesn't like spicy food at all. Like, whenever you eat spicy food like that, you get like high. Like, yeah. you, I, <laughs> my body, like, it was just like, what it was I'm like saying in is, shock. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, you eat Mexican food, you eat spicy food on the regular. Well, yeah. So for you to gradually elevate the intensity of the Scoville charts. Dude, I ate a peppers, Serrano and that shit's hot. Now imagine. Yeah, dude, he it has was, never it was added, insane. He doesn't put salsa on his. Well, let's just chill. It's cool. okay. okay. <laughs> He's a bitch. <laughs> no, <laughs> let's do right. Keep it, you know, <laughs> keep it here. Uh, yeah. um, so the this is this place is your place is the hex quarters, and then you know, every once in a while we add a few things in. We throw a land or someone streams out of here or something like that. Then you uh, join or you bring in the huntsman. And now this place is a is a place for your mm -hmm, team. Mm -hmm. What's what was that transition like? And did you know that it was it was over? <laughs> did you know that it's no longer just me and my spot? There's gonna be people here all the time. Yeah, I, I wanted that. I, I wanted that though. I'm 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 the type of person that needs to be around his his friends and his boys. And you know, it's like there's there's something about you know dudes just hanging out, like collabing and and spitting ideas out and then making each other laugh and talking shit to each other like there's there's something special about that so like I, I was happy when everybody started to to sort of come here yeah and you're go you go from he editing Hector's vlogs and then doing yep. things out of here to now you are in charge of an entire esports orgs <laughs> content yeah running the Huntsman YouTube channel right after yeah that. did how did what was I've always wondered was that like a, did Hector just say, hey, you're going to do this now? It was kind of like he offered it up, and I wasn't going to say no. <laughs> that's that's so, a good way of Yeah, it. I just started, I mean, we just kind of started. And I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. So mm -hmm. it kind of just, like, I, I definitely views, figured but, it out as I went. But the views, but, though. Oh, the views were insane right off the bat. Matt, too. I'm just going to figure it out, Craig. 
Yeah, yeah pretty much. It, it worked. <laughs> Look yeah. at this place. Look at this place. <laughs> it worked well. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it, you know, at first I'm like, oh, man, you know, like he's going to edit this thing and do that. And then I'm like, yo, let me give him a little side projects here <laughs> and there. Then he built that shit over there. He fucked up on one of the doors. And I'm like, man, does this make, does this, you see how this doesn't line up? Yeah. Like, Fucking do that shit again. And then I'm like, and then and then little by little, we started to develop this, like, like my thing is is what, man? What am I, uh, I'm never what? Never satisfied. On anything, right? Yeah. So as soon as we got that, as yeah. soon as I got that through <laughs> through his head, yep. it was all smooth sailing. What was that? Huh? The fuck was that? There's some a thing. weird chemistry. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's, my, that's my right hand, man. Satisfied. satisfied? Yeah. I'm never, I'm never satisfied. Is what I'm saying. Like it's, everything could that be better. That was kind of hard, always. though. He's like, was, what am I, Matt? Never satisfied. <laughs> never satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, it was an inside joke between two. It's a, it was an office joke with two people in the office. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just little, imagine you working Harvey here. Specter and Mike Ross. Yeah. You just lost me right what? there. No, but suits. You don't watch suits? Nope. Oh, Donna, you, gotta watch, you gotta watch Suits. Jessica Pearson? Never seen it. Lit? I started a you while ago. Get lit I up. love it. You love it? I, I love it. All right, maybe Donna. I'll check it out. It's, it's pretty good. Fuck you, look Wanna hit your favorite? <laughs> it's really good. Um, yeah, I mean, if you look at that, if you look at that, that, that back there, like, that is one of the original canvases from 6050, right? And if you look at the, if you, when you enter, you see the original, my original little mini hex quarters on, on the loft of my, like where optics started, started right. Like that is where, yeah, that's where I played Call of Duty Two on my 50-inch Sony Vega. That is where I played Call of Duty Four on my. Uh, uh, notice that I skipped Call of Duty Three. That's um, crazy. And then we have there, and then from there, I went to my office at at the in, in my house, but we had 6050. So 6050, to me, it was was more of a of like the like I said, like the jump start because Nature and I did create live streams from my basement at, at my house. But when we got the house, like that's when it really popped off. Yeah, if you could go back and be a fly on the wall, I guess just relive a day at either the the I don't have sixty to. fifty. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> at either sixty fifty or the scuff house, or here, you know, in a few months, I guess you're picking sixty fifty just to see what the vibe, just to relive those vibes. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I, I can't pick like every 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 one of those homes or. Places had such a impactful, like moment of my in my life that I just can't pick out of all of them. Like it's a butterfly effect. Yeah. Ooh, I had another fucking question, but it just slipped. You want to ask me the same thing? You looked at me. Yeah, you. <laughs> you, you. You like weirdly looked at me. He was like, Yeah, I think I had. Well, I had. I, <laughs> I was like, You want to ask that to me? Yeah, what about you? Having streamed and done content and played and competed out of all three spots. Which one's your favorite room? What's Which the... one was my favorite of the three places? Yeah. 1235, not even close. Really? Your yeah. 1235 felt like a coming of age. What? Huh? It's like a frat house. Like a movie. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you laughing? No, I'm just... We turned 21 there. We were scrimming there. We were actually, like, getting work done while, like... Finally, starting to experience like life, life a little bit. You're like before that, sixty fifty, it was, it was literally wake up, stream, videos, gym, wake up, stream, videos, gym, over, over, over. Like twelve thirty five, like we we found like some work life balance. I feel like. Mm. I mean, if I was to pick, I, I, if I if I have to pick, when what? Uh, I don't want to say the content renaissance for us was definitely 1235 because vision came out of there smooth competition came out of there podcast uh, podcast came out of there trivia, trivia came out of there like that is like where we said all right this is the this is the strategy this is what works and then i don't know if you guys remember but there was a the, that house was originally ffe ffe yeah the scuff house? Ferraris for everyone. Remember? <laughs> oh, yes. Remember that? Oh, yeah. my God. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. do. Because we're like, dude. Now if, no one has a Ferrari. No one, but, but they can, though. The, 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 thing there, the thing there is, is like everybody, <laughs> if, if there was ever a time for anybody in this organization to blow up and to have their best content was at that house. And everybody went in there knowing that that was the case. Whether someone did or someone didn't, that's something completely different. But my vlog, my vlog came, you know, uh, yeah, like not yeah. just all those, but I, I vlogged two years straight from there. Yeah. Dude, let's just make another team house. T would you? What are, you, what, yeah. what are we gonna do with the wives, man? Not us. Oh. Who? Who? I don't know. That's, that's for you to figure out. Are, are we? Are, are we? Are we <laughs> gonna yeah. recruit? There's a bunch of gamers. 
young gamers to move into the house, give them the experience. <laughs> Recruit? We show up and we create content with them and then we leave them be. Oh, you said you were going to get a red Ferrari. Okay, so huh? I remember you told me you were going to get a red Ferrari. That didn't happen. <laughs> you were so sure. Uh-huh. A little bit more. It's you like said, what happened? No, but, but I'm going to fucking get one. Yeah, the thing, the thing with those though is like the same thing like billionaires and smart cars, right? They buy those little tiny ones because they're like, you know, now that I have all this money, like money, I don't want to buy shit. Yeah. I thought that I wanted one until I was able to get one, and now I realize I'd rather just deck out my house. Mm, that's how I am, too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Ferrari. Like, I don't, I could get one. A red Rari would be pretty cool. A red Rari would be cool. Red Rari. <clears throat> um, so, I guess last thing to talk about, uh, this place had a, a lot of history already up to this point uh, with you know, with, with the infinite offices and then transition into just your stuff and then transition into uh, the Huntsman stuff. What was it like for, I guess, everyone, because I think everyone was here, what was it like to get Optic back and we were all here the next day filming Optic content? What the fuck? Really? That happened? Like like that? It yeah. happened like that. Really? When did that happen? Well, I remember I think he you called still... me and I like couldn't believe it. I was like, wait, really? Like, I, I couldn't even fucking believe when it. When was this? I think you were in Cali. This is when you came down. 2020? Oh. Oh, 2020. Okay. 2021? 2020. Was it really? Yeah, 2021. Or late 2020. Was it really the next late day? Late 2020. We were here? The next day like we the were. The literal here. next day? It was like. The, it was like you told you told people that you got it back, but the announcement came out that like the he p- pulled the chain out and shit, and then the next day we were here. Like I don't know if we were filming, but we were all here. Like what the fuck is going on? Like I can't can't we, believe it was back. We came here to film the announcement, and then somebody caught wind of it ahead of time, and then they released their own shit. Heck oh, Rodriguez yeah, yeah, reacquires yeah. optic. Blah blah blah. Great fucking move. Thanks. Thanks. But it, that, that was like, I mean, you were here for the whole of it, right? And yeah. I would bring I would bring that logo, one of the 3D printed logos. Yeah. Uh, I would bring it to you and I'm like, pop it on my desk. Get the shit back. And then it, nothing happened for six months. <laughs> I eventually stopped believing you. Yeah. But then when I stopped believing you, it happened. And I was like, damn. So just don't stop believing. Don't stop. You're going to get this clean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's filthy. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. That's why I don't like carpets. You think I'm going to be happy if an optic logo is this dirty? Fuck no. This place would be disgusting if it was all carpet. Yeah. yeah this that's whole what, place would be like unusable. Here, there you go. So there's, there's the proof. There's the proof. Yeah. And this is moving, right? Like this is going into safe places, regular places that, like I said, I am going to get it washed and I am more than likely going to uh, to put it up on a wall somewhere uh, in, in, the new, uh, in the new place. I don't remember who made the carpet, but this drawing was made by the same dude that did that one, and the original like is, is over there. So um, it was pretty cool. The name, right? Originally was Hex, originally was just Hex Studios or ESN Esports. Es what was it? Esports Media House. E-M-H. E-M-H. Yeah. Yeah. Esports Media House was the was the first one, uh, and then and then Nature was like, "You're dumb. You should call this shit the Hex Quarters." And I was like. That's the name. When he walked in. But uh, yeah, I guess what was, what was, you, we start doing, Optic is back. Yeah. And now this is no longer, this is a, like an Optic studio, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, were you ready? Yeah, that's why it was created to begin with. It was for Optic. Yeah, of course, everything. Everything that I do is for that. That makes sense. And then were you, was, was Rod down here at the time? When? I don't even know when Roger came back. Rog left, and we don't even remember him leaving. And then he came back, and we don't even remember him coming back. Yeah. He was a traitor for a little while. Yeah, it's all so... He was a what? He was a traitor. Like a day trader? Yeah, he was a traitor. No, No, like a traitor. Traitor. Oh, dude. I'm hearing different words. He hasn't slept in 24 hours, and you're like... A traitor? I thought you meant like a day trader. Fuck, Roger was in the market. Dude, look yeah. it on his face right there. <laughs> said Roger's day trading. <laughs> I'm a oh, trader. Looks so intriguing. To be fair, for a minute there, both Maddie and Roger were trading heavy in the <laughs> Doge. In the, oh yeah, no, yeah, we had a moment there. I kept hearing about Doge coin. Did yeah. you, you didn't end up taking profits. Yeah, no, I basically like could have got a house with Doge coin and then just yeah choked completely. What, but, what were you into? Yeah. Wang Chang, he's still in it. Wang Chang. Dude, I'm what? not still in it. 
<laughs> what? You took out your 50 cents? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. He'd come into scrims and be like, Dude, I'm off like fucking 60 bucks today. And me and Brandon are like, no, bro. My God. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Seth. No, nah, because we all had Fuck like yeah. a, there was like a 12 person Call of Duty crypto call. And it was like JCAP slasher. They all and they were like Pac Man. They were like, this is the new thing. Everyone put in. <laughs> we mastermind. all put in. We all lost. <laughs> <laughs> they got us Brandon. so uh we get optic back and now you're the head guy for optic media i don't remember like how that went to be completely honest well because my man josefo was still here yeah because it was me josefo but i don't remember whenever raj got back like i don't remember at what point he came back from hunter thieves, hunter thieves. was that whenever we yeah oh no it was after we got optic back right is he here? Raj. Oh, he's next door. I have a terrible memory, so I have no I, idea. It's I, all I so like I think Raj leaving and coming back is a blur to me. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I remember from Raj, okay? I put a chain on him at that library bar. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, well, you let him join Optic. Yeah, you that's what. Yeah, yeah, I think we not <laughs> not was, not, not, a not a new chain, but yeah, yeah. it was oh, one, one of the little ones. The little ones. I, got. I just found a bunch of them. Um, and then after that, uh, Infinite sort of happens. He goes to work for 100 Thieves. Huntsman's happening. He is like, yo, I'm planning on leaving. And I was like, you know you have a home here anytime you want to come back. Uh, and then he came back during Huntsman. Dude, Dude. I literally cannot remember. I, can't remember. I don't know either. I don't know. It's all a blur. The Huntsman, Huntsman into Optic Chicago, into Optic Texas is a blur. If it's you think about it, since, since 2017. You know what was going on? Man, <laughs> Since, fuck. since 2007, you reminiscing over there. I just played like a second Halo champ, so I was like, "What the? F- I don't know. That would, that was just scary." That is, <laughs> isn't that the craziest shit though? Yeah. I will say though that when the merger happened and I saw him playing Halo, like from the beginning, I told you this is gonna be your team, from the beginning, <laughs> right? Didn't I? Yeah, I mean, you did from the beginning, <laughs> and he's like, "Well, how are we gonna do that?" I'm like, "It'll work itself out," and then little by little, it worked itself out. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how you remember it? Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, but yeah, it uh I don't know. This this place this way this place is gonna be one of those legendary places, man. I'm gonna have a picture of this place in my wall, on my wall, forever until the day I die. The same way that I have my original one from my first uh townhouse when I first started like really doing optic full time, two thousand seven, two thousand and nine. And then my office from from the Chaco Chaco, uh, and then obviously like the, the two houses, and then now this. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, look, there that is prototype number one or two of the first ever Guggen uh, uh, polls, right? Like we were just oh, talking about, yeah. like, like there was there was it's like a long ass um, fucking pole. <laughs> rod. rod. It's a long rod. It's a long rod. Um, but like we were sitting over there, and then like there's like at least a half a billion dollar worth of businesses was developed on that other side. If you think about oh yeah, the value of Google and the value of Good Good, and then like all the other shit that that's like on the side, like it's that's you know what I'm saying. That's like a the, lot. The, this this place was magical. Who's the most like who's the coolest or and like most random people that have visited through here? <laughs> Sugar Sean was here. Sugar Sean was here. Yeah. That was crazy. We don't have a picture of Sugar Sean up there. I think that was before you started that. Yeah, I missed on that. Dude, I remember this one time. <laughs> this one time I'm streaming, and like, I, I I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, in a Valorant game or some shit, and I realized there's someone sitting up next to me, like two two setups down, and he starts streaming. He's got like people with him, and I look over like I don't know after my game's done. It's fucking Kyler Murray, mm-hmm. and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> first I was really checked. Cause I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just like, not even streaming, just off stream. Like he's over here like playing Warzone or some shit. <laughs> like talking to his chat, like a Twitch streamer. You know what I mean? So I was like super checked, but I also didn't want to like, you know, start dick riding. So like, <laughs> I'm like acting like, I don't know who the fuck he is. You know what I mean? I was like, nah, yeah, what's good bro? What, you need anything? No. Right. <laughs> uh, and just like queued up on their game and just played. We never said hi to each other, not once. Really? Yeah. And I would do exactly like that again. I think. Like I never, <laughs> I never met him. I never said like, hey, what's up, man? I'm Matt. I'm formal. Just it was just like, you need anything? All right, bet. Yeah, back to yeah. it. You know, enjoy your stream, bro. Yeah. Kyler Murray came through here. That was cool. That's that was a really good cool. one. Joey Gallo, fucking uh, Ronnie Guzman, yep. and uh, Wu Tang. Uh, my man Willie Calhoun. 
Yeah. They all came here and streamed for like seven hours. Oh, oh they yeah. loved it. I they remembered that. It. Yeah. yeah. Bro, like, they're like, yeah, we're going to go stream. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, man, Matt's going to be. I wasn't even here. Like, yeah, Matt's going to be there. He can set you up. I thought we were going to be here like and, and do like a, I don't know, two hour thing. I didn't know they were going to be streaming. And all of a sudden, like, they're all streaming out of here. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, that's that's why they're just hanging out like they like they were streaming also. But like, I think they would have came every day if you like if, if you let they them. loved it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we would have invited them to. Yeah. yeah. But shout out Rangers, man. They just made it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spare tickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess the, the future, we figure out how to get all this stuff out of here and figure out where it goes, and then we're, uh, we're going to do this all, this all again in the downtown place, offices. At least for the next uh, two and a half years or three years until that lease goes up. You excited, Matt? I'm so excited. This is what I'm going to do, okay? I am going to build a building here in Frisco that's going to be the hex quarters in the future. That's my goal for the next the 10 ca- years. A castle? For the next 10 years, that's my goal. To build your own, to build studio? a building. No, I built a heck a, the optic building, where all of optic operations, and all up up and newcomers, everybody that wants to be an optic can work and chill out of. Oh, yeah. But it's gonna be done the right way, right? Like first 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 floor is gonna be a cafeteria, second floor is gonna be a chill spot. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a trust spot to put the boat. No, no, no. I mean, the, hex, the, the, the garage mahal is the garage mahal. Dude, I remember whenever you wanted to get the first floor one over here oh, yeah. and pull the boat in. I yeah. thought that was going to be so tight. That would have been so tight. Haven't fished at all. All right. Well, that is going to do it for the farewell of the hex quarters uh, inner circle. Any last words? Don't be sad. What's that saying? Don't be sad. Don't be that sad. It's over. Oh. Be happy it happened. Amen. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Peace, well, guys. Give any last words? Oh yeah, last words. I thought that was your. I thought that was your last words. I was just helping Wait. him. Oh, okay, what's your last words? Uh, this place, even though sometimes I thought of it as desolate, <laughs> <laughs> I, st- I still might a little bit. It, it definitely. Uh, it will be missed. It will be missed. Had some good memories here. Yep. Yeah. It will definitely be Maddie? missed. Yeah, it'll be missed. It was it. It's a. It's weird that it's going away because this is like where I became an adult, kind of. It was like college fraternity house, and then straight from that here. So like, and I've never had a real job besides this job. So it's really cool that I got to do that in a spot like this. It's like just fun to hang out in and everything. So I will definitely miss it a lot. But what about you? You spend probably the most time here. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it for sure. I, I think. I think, like I said, I didn't like how I don't think I took, I took a lot of it. I took advantage of my life in the scuff house and I tried to live it to the fullest, but I don't think I really hit 100%. Uh, But I think I did here because I think at one point I realized this is the new scuff house. So like, you know, embrace every moment that you get here. And uh, I mean, I had a ton of memories, started TST here, um, streamed here, I mean, the eavesdrop started out of here. We were doing fly cast out of here. I mean, there's a lot of memories. Like, like Nick comes back from fucking rehab here. Uh, you know, he joins back from the mutineers. I mean, there's formal, formal <laughs> comes, formal comes back from Cali. Like, there's the so bite of that bee. There's just so much what? shit that oh, happened yeah. here. <laughs> the what? Damn bee. That damn bee. Damn bee. One of the reasons that he told me that he didn't want to move. Is because he's like, nah, man. Like, there's this bee here that comes and <laughs> hangs with me while I have my cigarette in the morning, <laughs> <laughs> every morning. <laughs> really? He's always there. Yeah, it was so weird. It couldn't have been the same bee. Like, <laughs> they don't have that long of a lifespan, right? He was there like the whole time. I don't know. He would just come by me, make me tweak. I'd run inside, but I'd be like, <laughs> little rascal. <laughs> <laughs> little rascal. <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> what about you, Damon? Anything? Um, I mean. Yeah, you know, one thing I never really did, I never really streamed here. I think I would have liked it. Like, I think, like, I came here when I had to come here, but I think the biggest thing for me was, I think we got, we got this after I stopped playing. So, like, for me, I hadn't gone to any events. Like, coming here was, like, just the most fun time for me because I got to see everyone. Yeah. I mean, 
It was only yeah. the optic guys, but still, yeah. yeah, it was better than not seeing anybody I just spent like the last eight years with. Yeah. So for me, that that was like the best part for me was seeing everyone. Yeah, and that makes sense. Home is where the heart is. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I feel like this place is like, like if you look at it like what it actually is, like if you look at everywhere around us and like how the how the building looks and stuff, like you would never assume that we're in here making content and shit. So I feel like no matter where we go, we can always like take this like with us, you know what I mean? Like um, what did Thor say? It's like, um, Hex Quarters isn't a place, it's a people. Yeah. I love that. Because we're the people. Fuck. You know what I mean? We are the I people. I mean, that is the, that's the fact. I love that. I feel that. like it's just like homey shit. It. Like we're always going to bring homie. it. Uh, yeah. I mm-hmm. could come here, I'd come here and fucking just lay on the couch. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'd just lay on the couch until content started. I do regret not having a, a team Thanksgiving dinner here, which is something that I wanted to do. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. I did. That would have went hard. We, we have so many. Dead. We have so many chairs, and we have all the tables. We just put on. on <laughs> it it would have. You know. Oh no! It's just him. I was like, that would have went hard. He's like, he keeps checking me up. Because uh, think about the, the Thanksgiving dinners that we had at the at, at the scuff house. Yeah. Oh no! It would have been. It would have been dope. We could watch football here. Yeah. I mean, we've we that that sticks out to me too. Like whenever we'd come here for like UFC fights or sporting events yeah. or. You know, stuff like that and just hang out here. Then we had New Year's last year here. Yeah, we had a New Year's, like, not like a party. Like a get together. Yeah, like a get together yeah, yeah. here, yeah. Oh, when you guys were all hammered playing the mobile games? Yeah. <laughs> and you were streaming? <laughs> I was like playing Valorant or something or Halo or something. <laughs> but dude, the fuck checking me. I don't know. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, well, that's going to do it. That's going to do it for this uh, episode of The Inner Circle. Farewell to the Hex Quarters. I hope you guys enjoy. Down in the comments, let us know what your favorite content that came out of this place is. And uh, we'll have to go reminisce and watch that. But better things coming in the downtown office. All right, guys. Peace. See ya. See you later. Thanks.